Hey you guys, it's me Gemstone. I hope you're doing really well. This reading is for Sagittarius. I'm going to be using the Tarot of the Divine. And the Legendary Ladies Goddess deck. I feel like the artwork from both decks just go together really well. So I'm going to use those together. Um... Okay, so your first card is the Queen of Swords. Your second card is the Two of Cups. And your third card is the Four of Cups. Now, okay. The first thing your reading says to me is that <laughs> this could be a, a partnership. Somebody that wants to partner up with you, but you don't notice it. It's almost like the four of cups is like when something is like there and almost like look at me and you're not seeing it for what it is. And it's because you're focused on other things that again are giving you joy. Like he's really focused on these jars and things. They have like a peacock and stuff all in, you know, in front of him. They're really beautifully designed. But he's not paying attention to this little bird that's like singing in the background. So, you know, birds represent communication. And so he's not paying attention to somebody that is communicating with him because he's too focused on like either games or toys or things, things that um, basically it's like a person that is focused more on something that is entertaining him versus um, somebody that is almost like saying, you know, look at me, I'm here, like trying to get their attention. So I, I feel like it's saying you have to pay attention to who is around you. Um, there's somebody that I feel like really wants to be in a relationship. That's what I'm sort of getting. If you're single, they, they want to communicate with you. This also could be like a, another kind of partnership as well. It also can be a friendship. Like maybe somebody just really wants to reach out to you and they're trying to get your attention. And again, you're not really, um, you're not really noticing. Could be a, a, a business partnership also, um, the Queen of Swords usually is good at communication, though. So this person might be actually thinking that they're being really direct with their intentions and everything else. But it's just that for some reason, you're not really picking up on the hints that they're kind of sending out. It also could mean that maybe you're actually in a relationship with somebody else. Like maybe you actually are not single and you actually do have a romantic relationship already. And maybe there's actually somebody else that wants to get your attention that maybe, you know, also is trying to sort of, you know get your affection as well so yeah you might be in like a kind of a <laughs> triangle relationship triangle kind of situation but it's just that for you like you're not seeing it because you're more focused on the person that you're with and you're not really so much focused on this other person um it's another message that's also uh came to mind is it also could be that maybe this person that is in the background um could be somebody that may maybe they don't have necessarily a romantic interest but maybe it's that they are a friend or something like that and they might be thinking that more of your time and attention is going to your partner or going to like one particular person and and not to them and so that might be why they're trying to get your attention and things also because they're kind of maybe missing your time or missing your friendship and um, they might be like, oh, you always spend time with your girlfriend or you always spend time with this other person and you don't spend it with me kind of thing. So I feel like your cards are kind of saying, you know, don't forget about your friends if you're in a relationship. Um, again, there might be other people that really, you know, they might be more demanding of your time and and that you're not really noticing. So, yeah, just pay attention to that. Let's see what card is going to show up as the oracle card. Oh, you got Oya expression. <laughs> and she's looking at the Queen of Swords. That's interesting. Because <laughs> somebody needs to express themselves. Somebody needs to make it clear. Like, to me, this person seems to be making it clear. But maybe they're not sending out the signs. Maybe just like Oya is here with her yellow... <laughs> her, her yellow um you know cloak 
or you, you know, maybe this person literally has to send out smoke signals to you, like, hey, <laughs> I'm here, kind of thing. There's also a lot of red going on, so it seems like there is some kind of, there's some kind of passion that is, that you have in your life right now. And it could be a passion in a relationship or a passion for um, a hobby that you're doing, something, some activity that you're doing. And then the yellow kind of, you know, kind of sort of connects to the solar plexus, where it's, um, you know, also can be about your joy and about uh, strength and, um, you know, courage, determination, that kind of thing. So these might be things that are showing up in your life right now as well. Um, some of you guys, this is just literally a message that just came to my mind right now, seeing this card. Some of you guys are very independent and you're really um, maybe even more focused on what is going on with you at this time. Uh, and that could be where this issue is kind of coming in as well. But um, or it could be your passions that are taking you away from others, you know. So um, that's not a bad thing. But it's so there's some issue with communication that is going on here. Um, okay, let me get the page in the book that has because it comes with this little cute book, which um is even though with me I read cards intuitively, but because I don't know all these goddesses and things in here, the book is helping me to kind of you know give me a little bit of information to get you know get a bit more acquainted with them as well. So I just said I'll just read, um from the book as well for each of the signs so it says um oya goddess of the storms and winds oya is urging you to use your own powerful wind to lift up your voice speak now and speak up so that's your message sagittarius i'm there thinking you know that is somebody that is communicating that you're not seeing which i think is a message here but it's also saying that you need to speak up for yourself as well you know the queen of swords doesn't have any problem speaking up and, and standing up for herself so there might be and especially standing up for what she believes in because she's very connected to the justice card so she is about fair and balance and you know fair treatment and and things being balanced so if there is some kind of way that you're feeling that, you know, you're not being treated fairly or uh, you feel like you can't speak up or, you know, out of, against some kind of injustice or something that you feel some way that you feel wronged. It's saying, you know, the, the message of the strength and the courage and, you know, all that stuff is also what you may need to rely on right now to make your voice be heard and be bold and be brave and just, you know, say how you feel. So peace and many blessings to you, Sagittarius. I'll be seeing you. Bye.